We have left Portland, Maine, and we are already missing it. <laughs> we're already planning when we're gonna go back. I know, I love Portland so much. I think we said in the last video, if you didn't see the Portland food tour, go back to that. Cause we showed a little bit of it. We didn't really do vlogging too mm -hmm. much in Portland, but mm -hmm. we were so like in the moment and having fun and it was such a cool place. Something about Portland that really, really resonated with us is the community seems so vibrant and accepting. Like everywhere you go, there's Black Lives Matter flags, there's pride flags come from every single building, from every single church, from every single government building. People are so inclusive and they make a really big point of that. And it just feels, it just feels so lovely to be a part of like a really tolerant and accepting community. You just couldn't get enough of the beautiful sights <laughs> and the beautiful people of Portland, Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it's nice. But now we're actually doing a little road trip down the coast. Mm -hmm. So we started up in Portland. We are now in Kinnebunk, Maine, right. which is just slightly south on the coast. And we're taking the long way down, yes. so staying off the interstate, staying Route 1, taking it through all the kind of like getting a vibe for the, the various communities on the yeah. way down as well. It's very beachy. A lot it of is. mini golf, a lot of like camping and water parks and stuff like that. I wasn't expecting that, but it's pretty cool. I didn't see it, I slept through it. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept me busy while she's been sneezing. <laughs> So it's, I really appreciate that. I needed that. a nap, it was so nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you know, we drove through Canavan Court. It was a really cute place. It was busy. It was yes. really busy. I don't think <laughs> we would have been able to find parking even if we wanted to, but no we way. decided to just skip on through. We do have a place we have to get to farther down south mm -hmm. by a certain time today. So we're trying to, we're seeing things a little fast, but we're trying to stay on schedule. Mm -hmm. Grabbing yes. a little bit of uh, a lunch right now and then we'll uh, hit back on the road. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we is a good question. <laughs> Apparently we're in Ogonquin. And it's is this one of the weirdest places we've ever been? It's easily. <laughs> Everyone is being quiet, sitting in chairs next to the beach, like, just chilling. And uh, there's only like one road in. I don't know, man. It's interesting. I think it's cool. But it it's cool. also weird. We've also I'm never experienced anything like this before. <laughs> I mean... We're from loud states. I'm from Pennsylvania, you're from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. We lived in New Jersey for a long time, been in and out of New York City. We're very loud people, if you haven't picked up on that. And Maine is just very <laughs> quiet here, particularly like walking upon and put footage in here of the people who are just sitting watching that. Like, I, I love them. I love them. But it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what would be happening if this was in New Jersey? Oh my God, I was just gonna say, if this spot was in New Jersey, it would be bloodbath between everybody <laughs> trying to park their car. The parking is free up here for 30 minutes. And you free to get on the beach. Anybody would ever park there for 30 minutes in their life? <gasps> I'm in the water. <laughs> this is also one of the first times I've been on a beach in like winter gear mm -hmm. and everybody else is too, which is super cool. It's just a fun experience. Mm -hmm. That's a New England style beach yeah, where you wear a sweatshirt is. there. I know, <laughs> the even, even when we were out in San Francisco and stuff like when I was out there, it was cold, but not like this. You're not, you're not like winter geared up. There's people in winter jackets here, which I find really funny. It's nice. <laughs> Oh wow, this is crazy. Gold. Gold, did you say gold? Mm -hmm. So we were like, we we're gonna get out of here. We well, all quit, oh gone quit. <laughs> and then we're like, we just gotta take a look at the river. Let's go over there really quick and see what's going on with that and then we'll pop out of here. And then you can go right down to it. It's got this soft beach, the water is 
it looks blue from the top, but it's like completely see-through up close. It's beautiful down here. And there's a crow. See? I don't know why more people are in here. I'm not an ocean person. This is where I would be. Final destination. Uh, for the next two days. Exactly. <laughs> in a way, in yeah. A way. Of this particular trip on this particular day. Our final destination in Maine. And it is an interesting one. It's really got me going. I really dig it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't mm -hmm. say anything because everything I'm going to say is going to tell you where we are <laughs> and you have to wait for the next video for that. Mm -hmm. And before we get out of here, I wanted to talk about the ride down and to say how grateful I was that we took the long way. We took a way that was almost double the length of the time it's supposed to take if you just Google Maps the distances between Portland and where we are now. It was so interesting to see all the local places, even if just driving through, yeah. rather than just blow by on the highway. Yeah. It was a really rewarding uh, meander down the coastline and uh, very fortunate, very grateful that we took that route. And really happy that that is how we decided to travel today me too it was so cool it's good gonna definitely be more mindful and try and do that in the future as well yeah it's not it's always a, about point a to point b that's a life lesson there you go not just a travel lesson <laughs> <laughs> wow look at that learn the big things today thanks for road trip in maine with us and we'll catch you in the next one see you later bye now Thank you.